Welcome back to Flix Go, it's Fem. Today we are diving into the post-apocalyptic world of Fallout to uncover the iconic figure Fall Boy, from a thumbs up post to his role in Vault Dex. If you're excited, hit the like button and subscribe to Flix Go for more exciting content. The world of Fallout is bleak dystopian nightmare most of the time, but Vault Boy offers a rare and important respite from the gloomy atmosphere. Vault Boy adds color, humor, and a satirically chipper mood to the Westland's normally depressing and gray world. He acts as a focal point for Fallout penchant to juxtapose glittery mid century imagery with a post apocalyptic world, which helps deliver many of the franchise messages that, along with a few other factors, made Vault Boy the poster child of Fallout. Who is Vault Boy? Vault Boy is a mascot of sorts from the Fallout franchise. He has been around since the very first game, though he didn't get his Vault Boy moniker until Fallout 3. In game, Vault Boy is often used in Vault Tech materials to communicate information to players. He's used to represent the player in the Fallout 4 perk tree for an instance, or in a video explaining the special system. Vault Boy is Vault Tech's official mascot in Fallout. Vault Boy was created to be the mascot of Vault Tech. The company that created Fallout's vaults since he was used in most of the company's branding. Fall Boy became an icon of both the Westland and the entire Fallout franchise. Fall Boy demonstrates all the players' perks in game, and bubbleheads of him scattered around the Westland can increase the main character's attributes, so he's very useful. He also wears the same blue and yellow jumpsuit as the Vault Dwellers in the games which makes him feel like one of the few friends the player has in the Westland and contributes to his beloved status. There are also several parts of Vault Boy's design that helped him become such an icon of the franchise. Everything about Vault Boy is supposed to evoke images of the 1940s, from his hairstyle and dimpled smile to the art style used to draw him. Vault Boy's trademark thumbs up gesture and wank was rumored to be a reference to a 1940s technique that determined how far away a nuclear detonation was using a thumb as a visual guide. But it actually is just a sign of his comedic levels of optimize, even in the fact of nuclear winter. He is essentially the Tony the Tiger of this hellish depiction of America. He's seen throughout the majority of the parody advertisements promoting everything from Nuka Cola to various physical items and the games. The most famous of which is the Vault Tech Bubbleheads, and this is what Matt Flayne's figure is emulating. Also features in the latest trailer. That being said. What Vault Boy is best known for is his hilarious tutorial and scale tree videos. This is where the series has flexed its funny bone. As Vault Boy demonstrated all the ways you could die in the game or by showing you the benefits and effects of a certain level up on your Pep Boy and Westland. So it's a sure bet we will see Vault Boy in all his glory. From the trailer so far, the show is emulating Fallout's out there style of humor, which mostly stems from his animated character's glowing personality. How the Fallout show incorporates Vault Boy. The Fallout show has been dedicated to capturing the feel of the game since it was announced. As such as Vault Boy has been a prominent part of the series even before its release. In various posters, trailers, and promotional materials for the Fallout show, Vault Boy was featured several times, both as a mascot and as a bobblehead. Since Lucy is a Vault Dweller, Vault Boy will likely pop up throughout Vault 33 and in her personal Pep Boy computer. Vault Boy is an essential part of Fallout, and the fact that the show features him so prominently proves it will do the series justice. Why Vault Boy is giving you a thumbs up? This theory of the true nature of Vault Boy posed Ham resisted for years, despite the fact that developers have debunked the theory on more than one occasion. Brian Fargo had an interplay for the development of Fallout, Fallout 2, and Fallout Tactics. Talk to Twitter, currently X platform, in 2013 to state the Vault Boy simply has a positive attitude. In 2015, Trammell Ray Isaac, the artist who created Vault Boy in the first place, repeated what he had apparently already explained. 
It's got nothing to do with measuring the clouds. Despite the disappointment that some may have, the Volt Boy is not hiding a secret meaning. His cheerful nature is still fairly sinister on its own. Volt Boys is meant to be reassuring presence that everything is okay and that those in Volt Tex Volts have nothing to worry about. A thumbs up tells all Fallout players you can do it, even as they are being disassembled by Death Claw. And that's the tale of Vault Boy, the cheerful face amid his Fallout desolation. From promotional mascot to culture icon, his story is as fascinating as the wall he inhabits. If you enjoyed this journey through the Westland, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Flick School for more explorations into the lore of cinema and beyond. Have theories and insights about Vault Boy? Drop them in the comments below. We love hearing from you. See you in the next video.